Hello everyone, I wanted to quickly show you guys how to get started using styles in Expression Web. So first off, we're going to start with a blank web page. So we'll just go up there, File, New, HTML. And from here we have a pretty plain looking page. It's pretty blank, there's nothing really going on in it. The first thing I wanted to show you is how to create an inline style. So we're just going to type some text here. This is an inline style. Okay, so if we go here and we look at the tag element by itself and actually start typing in some information, for instance, like if we select color and we decide to make it blue, we go here, now we notice the style for this particular element, this paragraph element right here, is now blue. So that is an inline style because it's directly attached to this specific element. Now, a, another type of style is an embedded style. And to do that, we can go over here where it says styles and we can click new style. From here, we can type in something like my header to give it some sort of name for this particular style. We can select a font family size, font weight, we'll make it bold, and if you notice as you're making changes down here you get a little preview of what this is going to look like when it's finished. Let's go ahead and click color, and uh, we'll select a different color here for it, so we'll select blue, we'll select background, so we can change the background color if we'd like to, so we'll make it something like that. Um, and we can do other things like change the alignment, so we'll make it left justify and you can kind of see what it's going to look like before you even apply it but uh, we're going to go ahead and hit OK and right now you see over here we have a new style over here listed now if I were to go here and type in something like this I can actually apply this embedded style that we've just created by just clicking on it over here and I see this has this new style applied to it. Now what makes this an embedded style is if we look at the code here we're going to go to code view and you see that there's a different element in here called style and it has our defined style inside of my header and anywhere we apply that, like for instance right here, it says spam class equals my header. So it's applying that my header style that we've created. I'm going to clean this up here a little bit, get rid of this extra style stuff in here that's from the inline style. And uh, so now if we go back to the design view, so like we can actually create another embedded style also so like if we went here and said something like text paragraph and we can go ahead and give that a font style a size we can give it a normal weight and we can change the color to this we can make it black something like that and we can change the background color and maybe we'll make that this color I'll just hit apply. So now we got text paragraph. So we could just add in more text. Like that. And if we want to apply the new style that we have here, we can click that. Now you see we have that there as well. Now if we look at the code view again, we see the embedded style here applied to everything inside here. Now the other type of style that we have is a style called an attached style. So what we will do here is I'm going to create a whole other blank page like that. And I already have a style sheet saved on here that I'm just going to add and attach it here. So if we click browse, 
Here it is, test.css. I'm going to click open, and we're going to link it to that current page. Now, if you notice, this is like a complete style sheet, so it's even changed the color of the background and everything. So if we start typing text in here, there are some styles already applied to it. Now, if you want to see why that is an attached style sheet, we'll click on the code here. And you can see right here where that style sheet is linked into this current page. Now, the interesting thing, if we open up the style sheet like that, here's this style sheet that we're linking to. You can see all the different settings inside of here. The nice thing about using a style sheet like this is if you were to create a bunch of different pages, and you have them all linked to this test.css page, you could make changes just to this one page that would be reflected in all the pages that are linking to this style sheet. So that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to contact me um, we'll have more on styles later on thanks